48 hours after the murders shielded from view, the last two bodies were taken from the flat where the stabbing spree began. A grim task for paramedics, the removal delayed by forensic tests. Two neighbours described how they heard screams and ran out to find a woman lying in the road. And she was just lying down, her head towards the door, her feet were just down the stairs, but she was really soaked with Brian. I did not have much to, to say to her because Brian started talking to her. And then and I, as I just took three, two steps forward to see what's happened, I looked on my left, there was nothing. It's when I turned and I looked on my right. I saw the, a man with a big knife now chasing another girl with a black top. And uh, that, that minute, Brian, I think Brian has gone to, I don't think, get some towels or stuff. Me and um, Philip just went towards, uh, towards the man. And as we saw, he just grabbed the girl at the back. And yeah, he was just stabbing her. And this was all in front of you? Yeah. He was really. And, it was not poking, stabbing, I mean stabbing, and it was, yeah, I think he did that three or four times. Luckily the girl was able to say yes, and then she, she sort of ran to our side, and uh, as she came, uh, she, she saw when she was coming closer, the guy sort of stopped, and uh, he was just talking to himself and shouting, and then um, we were able to sort of pull the girl backwards, and then that's when now the guy he was coming forward, and uh, he was just stabbing his chest, so we were able to all of us went backwards up to where the guy was and then as the guy was moving closer they would pick up a traffic cone and sort of just swing it about and then the guy went into his house just shouting and stabbing his chest still going in the man did you not know, give us a high contact that's what surprised me no eye contact completely you just looked down i just looked down and then he looked so so hungry he was angry and he, sta he was just stabbing himself stabbed himself or more than 20 i think 15 to 20 times and he was not just like that, really stabbing himself. The suspect's Polish carpenter Damian Zierzhowski was still in hospital recovering from stab wounds. His wife Isabella and their two children, Kasper and Kinga, were among the six victims. Police were still waiting for formal identification of all the victims, including Mr. Zierzhowski's father-in-law. There's a man with a... with a black god just lying there. I think the man... The way they were lying, I think the man was crawling towards the little baby. He was just lying there with a knife still stuck on his back. A big, big knife. Throughout the day, volunteers offered counselling to neighbours and friends. And at the spot where the victims died, tributes continued to arrive.